everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and if this is your first time visiting the channel then do take a moment now to subscribe and also click that little bell icon and click to receive all notifications so that you get a little notification every time that I upload a new crochet tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful tulip stitch border. So it's a really nice way to finish off a blanket or even around this sample piece here it actually looks like a really nice placemat or table mat so yeah really versatile and it'll just finish off any project really beautifully so there are one two three four five rounds to this border but you can repeat the flower rows if you wanted it's totally up to you and obviously this end border is totally optional as well you can leave it plain so I will also leave a link in the description to the blanket tutorial for the main body here. But anyway, let's just go straight in with the beautiful tulip stitch border. Okay, so you want to start off with just a round of normal UK double crochets or US single crochets. And you want to do that all the way around whatever the work is that you're planning to put this border on. I'm not going to show you totally how to do that because I have a separate tutorial for it but the one thing I will say is that make sure in the corner spaces you do a double, a chain two and a double back in the same space and that will just give you really nice defined sharp corners. And then as you're working up your side you just want to evenly space out your double crochets all the way up the side. There is no right or wrong way of doing that. You just want to make sure that you place them evenly enough so that your work doesn't bunch up and it also doesn't go wavy by putting too many stitches in. So just make sure that it's nice and even all the way up. So once you've completed your round of double crochets all the way around your work that is where I will meet you in just a second to start building up our flowers. So I'm closing off this first round with a slip stitch to that first stitch and I'm going to snip off my cream so pull that out and tighten up and there now I've got a beautifully flat start for my border. So you can see I've got a nice flat edges nice and straight, nice sharp corners. So now I'm going to bring in my green and we will start working on our little stems or leaves, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start in one of the corner chain two spaces. So I'm going to do a standing treble crochet, so in the US this is your standing double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm just going to hold that with my finger, insert into one of the chain two corner spaces, yarn over and pull up and I've got three loops on my hook and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that is a standing treble crochet. So into this corner space I could want two V stitches. So this is the first part of my V stitch. So to create a V-stitch I'm going to chain one and then do another treble back into that chain two space. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into that chain two, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is one V-stitch. I now want to do another V-stitch but in the corner I'm actually going to separate my V-stitches with a chain one. I won't be separating my B stitches along my straight edges. So now back into this chain two I'm going to do another V stitch. So I'm going to do a treble back in that same chain two space, chain one and another treble back in that space. So that will just get me around the corner nicely without it bunching up and without it rippling either. Now I'm going to work along my straight edge and I'm going to skip two stitches. So when I skip my two stitches, make sure you don't miss this very first one. So that's one 
and two and into the third I will do a V stitch so I will do a treble chain one and another treble back into that same stitch okay skip two stitches so one and two and then V stitch into the third so treble chain one and treble skip two and oops, V stitch so if you continue that all the way along until you get to your next corner and I will just show you that corner one more time and then I'll leave you to complete the round okay so at your corner space I've only got one stitch before my corner space but that doesn't really matter I'm just going to do my corner as normal by doing a V stitch into the chain two space. I'm going to chain one in between these two V stitches and back into that chain two I'm going to pop another V stitch. So again that will just get you round the corner nicely. So that is how you should look going across your straight edge and then your corner space. So if you work that all the way around and I will meet you when you get back to the beginning of the round where we will close off and start our flowers. So once you get back round to where you started from you're simply going to close with a slip stitch to the top of that very first stitch that you did. So insert your hook through the hole of that first stitch and slip stitch. Chain one and snip off and pull that through. So that is how you should be looking at this point. It should lay nice and flat like so. And now we're ready to add our flowers. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook into one of the V stitches in the corner. So I've yarned over. I'm going to insert into that V stitch, yarn over and pull up. And I'm going to pull through the first two loops and I'm going to stop because we're going to be doing treble clusters. So you want to yarn over, go back into that chain one space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two. And at this point you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through all four loops. You go into chain two and then you're going to do another flower into your next chain one space. So in the corner you'll have three flowers. So you'll yarn over, insert into that next chain one space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two and one more yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all four you go into chain two and then your next flower into your next V stitch which will be the second V stitch of your corner so three times you will yarn over and pull up and pull through two until you have those four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three at this point we're actually going to chain two because now we're going to be working along our straight edge so working along your straight edge you will create your next flower into your next V stitch by doing your three treble cluster so when you have your four loops you'll yarn over and pull through them all and chain two and then work into your next V stitch. So if you want to continue that and I will meet you at the corner just to firm up that corner placement and then I will leave you to complete your round. So again when you get to your corner space you're going to work into the first V stitch, the chain one space and your second V stitch. So you'll have three flowers going across your corner space. And then again you're ready to work down your next straight side and I will meet you at the end of this round where we will 
finish off the flowers and move on to the next. So once you complete your final flower in that last V stitch, you want to close to the top of that very first stitch from the beginning of the round, uh, from the beginning of the round, with a slip stitch. Chain one, snip off and pull that tail through. Okay, so that is how you should be looking at the end of the flower round. Now I'm going to bring back my cream from the beginning but obviously you can use whatever if you wanted to use whatever colour you've used in the main body of your blanket that is fine you can use literally whatever you want I'm just using the same as what I've used throughout. So again I'm just going to start in a corner and I'm going to start in between one of my clusters. So I've got my slip knot on my hook I'm going to yarn over and pull up. I'll have two loops yarn over, pull through both. So that is a UK double crochet. So you're going to be using a UK double or a US single for the whole of this round. So that is one stitch into that space between and I'm going to do another one. So there's going to be two double crochets in between my flower stitches. I'm going to do a double crochet into the top of the cluster. So if you turn it on its side you can see that there is a stitch there at the top and I'm going to do one double crochet into that stitch and then into my chain space I will put two double crochets so one and two so we will finish off this part of the corner when we get back round again one double into the top of the cluster and then two doubles into the chain two space, one double into the top of the cluster and two into the chain two. Okay so you'll work that all the way around so double crochet into the top of your cluster and then two double crochets into the chain two and you'll do the exact same thing going around your corners as well. So if you complete that and then I will meet you at the end of this round to close off. So once you get back around you're simply going to close with a slip stitch to the top of that very first stitch that you did. And that is how you should be looking at this point. So you can finish here obviously if you wish to or you could add another couple of rounds of double crochet or you could even repeat the flower pattern if you wanted to as well, it's totally up to you. I am just going to add one final round to this but it is a completely optional round, it is just something that I thought finished it off quite nicely. But like I say, totally optional. I'm going to chain four and that is going to count as our first double crochet and a chain of three. I'm going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch I'm going to do a UK double or US single. Chain three, skip one, double crochet and that is just going to create a really delicate frill all the way around and it just finishes the border off really nicely. So again, chain three, skip one, double crochet, chain three, skip one, double crochet. So again, if you wish to, you can complete that all the way around and you can see it just gives a nice, very delicate finish to the pattern. So again I'm ready to close off now and I'm going to close off with a slip stitch to the first chain of that chain four that we did at the beginning of this round and I'm just going to slip stitch, chain one as always, snip off and pull that out. So those are all of the rows for your border. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have do make sure that you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you for another tutorial really soon. Bye for now.